All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation x squared minus x to the power of three is equal to 80. So I'm gonna first start by subtracting 80 on both sides. So these two cancel out and I get x squared minus x to the power of three minus 80 equals zero. Now I can rewrite this as x squared minus x to the power of three minus 16 minus 64 equals zero. So I rewrote negative 80 as negative 16 minus 64 and now this can be written as negative four squared minus four to the power of three. Now I'm gonna group x squared with four squared and x to the power of three with four to the power of three. And a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b and a to the power of three plus b to the power of three is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So I get x plus four times negative x squared plus five x minus 20 is equal to zero after simplifying all of this and using both of these properties. Meaning I get two equations from this, x plus four equals zero meaning x is equal to negative four, so this is one solution, and negative x squared plus five x minus 20 equals zero, and we're gonna get rid of this negative one by multiplying both sides by one, so I get x squared minus five x plus 20 is equal to zero, and I can solve this by using the quadratic formula, so I get x is equal to five plus or minus the square root of 55i over two. So these are two more solutions.